Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be doing an independent review of these sunglasses made by RCI Optics. Now, RCI stands for Right Coast Independent. They're actually a company that was started up here in Florida. They're a local company, American owned, and the glasses are actually made in Italy, so very high quality material. And I'm very impressed with these glasses. Uh, I've used Costas, I've used Smith, I've used Native, and these have been my go to choice so much that I actually lost a pair on the water and on my way home from that trip that I was fishing from I actually went straight to the store and bought a new pair and dropped another couple hundred bucks on a pair of glasses so very impressed with these glasses also keep in mind uh, us here at Salt Strong we're not sponsored uh, we're not promotional staff or any types of companies so when we do these reviews we're just doing this based off our own experience that way you can go out there and make the choice for yourself whether or not you want to go try out the products that we review now when you do purchase a pair of these glasses they do come with a hard case to help protect the glasses from being crushed or anything like that and then they also come with a soft case which can be used also as a lens cloth so if you need to use a lens cloth or anything like that, that soft case comes in handy for that. So let me talk a little bit about the details on the glasses and then I'll talk about the pros and cons. As far as the details go, I don't want to go into scientific terminology and all that. I want to keep it pretty much layman's terms for you guys. But the lenses themselves, they block UV light and they have that H780 technology which uh, blocks infrared light as well. Those infrared rays are very da uh, damaging to the eyes as well as the UV rays. And because they block those rays, you'll actually uh, have less eye fatigue when you're out there on the water. When that sunlight and those UV rays and those infrared rays are hitting your eyes, it will actually make your eyes tired, which can affect your vision and your ability to see clearly. So with that technology, that definitely helps you out when you're on the water, especially if you're sight fishing or anything like that. Also, these do have the proper safety rating for you to be able to wear them on a job site. If your job requires you to wear safety glasses, you can wear these on your job site. And this lens material is actually seven times more dense than polycarbonate. Also, the RCI lenses meet the military standard. Uh, they stop a 15 caliber projectile traveling at 650 feet per second, which you can see in this little clip here uh, from RCI, which is very ideal, especially if you're traveling in a boat or you're slinging lead, you're slinging weights around, uh, lures, artificials, flies, anything like that. If it hits the lens, you're pretty much safe there. Nothing's going to penetrate that lens when you're out there on the water. Now, as far as the pros and cons of these glasses, let's go ahead and dig into that. What I do like about these glasses, one of the biggest things that caught my attention was the lack of rubber on the glasses, because if you've ever owned a pair of Costas or anything like that, the rubber tends to peel off and it just gets annoying and then they get uncomfortable to wear. These are very comfortable, even though they do lack a little bit of rubber. And the rubber that they do have on them is right here on the nose piece and as you can see it there. And what I like about the rubber that is on these is that it's actually built into the frame. It's not like uh, the Costa glasses, which I have here. As you can see, the nose piece is completely gone. I don't even know where it is at this point, but the Costa glasses, the rubber is just glued on there and it falls off very easily over time. Uh, when you're sweating, sunblock, anything like that, it just starts to fall off. So. The lack of rubber on these is definitely a plus, and the fact that the rubber that is, that is on there is actually built into the frame and it won't come off. Now another pro that I've found about these glasses is the scratch resistance on the lens. They're very scratch resistant. I'm constantly wiping these things off when I'm out on the water just because I don't like to have any type of fingerprints or water droplets on there. And when you do have salt water on the lenses and you go to wipe it off, that can definitely lead to scratching. And I haven't noticed any type of scratching on these. I've had them for a little under a year and I'm out on the water constantly. I'm out on the water two to three times a week. So they get a lot of use and they're holding up very well. Now the last pro that I want to talk about with these glasses comes back to uh, the details and the specs and also how the lenses are made. And it's the fact that these lenses are actually injected, they're not laminated. When you have a laminated lens, what that means is they have a lens, then they have a layer of film in between that lens and another lens and they sandwich it together. 
And over time, that lamination can start uh, deteriorating and breaking down and your lenses will actually start to delaminate. So that's definitely a pro about these. It will help them last a lot longer than lenses that are laminated because these are actually injected. That polarization is injected into the lens and it's not a film that's sandwiched between two lenses. Now lastly, let's go ahead and talk about the cons, what I really didn't like too much about the glasses. And the price being one of the biggest things, a lot of these higher end glasses are gonna go anywhere from 200 to 300 bucks. These average from about 250 to 270. So it's definitely in that high price range. So if you're on a budget, I definitely wouldn't recommend these because if you do happen to lose them, uh, that's about two to $300 in the hole. Uh, which I had to unfortunately go through. I actually dropped a pair in the water, which I mentioned earlier, and then went straight to the store, bought a new pair. But on a side note, I will mention this, they did contact me and offer uh, some help with replacing them. So customer service is definitely awesome uh, with this company. Now, again, going back to the cons, because I did lose those glasses, obviously they don't float they will sink pretty quickly so make sure you have yourself a, a lanyard or something on there preferably one that floats so that, that if you do drop them in the water they'll float and you can grab them easily and then the last con i really wouldn't call it a con it's really not a negative thing but there are only certain stores that carry these and i highly recommend trying on a pair before you buy them uh, before you buy them online so if you can go to uh, show or anything where there's vendors that may have some of these and you can try them on I highly recommend doing so uh, These that I've been showing you in this video. These are the monster hole uh, 2.0 they seem to fit my face very well. I have sort of that medium uh, Type of face and these frames work very well for that So highly recommend trying on a pair before you buy them just so they fit your face properly you get a better fit and they don't fall off your face because you don't want that happening when you're out there on the water. So that will wrap up this independent review of the sunglasses made by RCI Optics. If you have any questions or comments, or perhaps you have some experience you would like to share uh, with these glasses, whether it be good or bad, we'd like to hear your feedback. That way others can have a more informed decision when they do go out there and purchase a product. So again, leave those comments, questions down below. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.